I'm going to begin uh, just by asking, I was um, doing interviews uh, for a film earlier this year and the, act, the lead actress was Rachel Weisz and she was playing uh, a real life person. There was a few scenes where she was saying that she couldn't perform in front of her because it was a bit difficult. Now, the real Julie was around on set for this movie. I was wondering how it was performing in front of her and if there were ever times where you had to ask if she would mind not watching specific scenes at all. Oh no, I, I, I really loved the fact that she was there. It gave me a really, really clear sense of purpose of why I was doing what I was doing and why, like who I was telling, the, that I was telling her story for, like I had a sort of, that it was in service to her memory. Um, and um, I felt that she had every right to be on that set and it was, I only wanted to be, to be playing the role with her permission so I would, never have asked her to leave the room. I, I, yeah, I think it was really important that she was there. And I, um, the fact that she was there every day was, for me, felt like such a luxury that I, I could really forge a, a proper connection with her. Because, I mean, it is obviously, I mean, the whole scene at the motel is so difficult to watch. How was that to shoot, particularly because, obviously, with, like, with the nature of any movie, I mean, there's always multiple takes of something. I mean, that must have been really quite, quite an exhausting sort of shoot to, 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 to play that scene sort of numerous times. Yeah, I mean, Catherine, the way that Catherine shoots keeps things feeling really fresh and really alive. And um, she's covering, um, she covers a huge amount of material very quickly because she has three cameras running at once. Um, so I never, I never felt like we were kind of overworking the material, if that makes sense. Um, I, yeah, I, and I feel like she, you're encouraged to kind of keep jumping in in a way that makes things feel, feel really alive. I mean, it's, it's obviously impossible not to draw parallels between this narrative and then modern America and what's been happening over the past sort of two or three years. Was that something you all sort of discussed on set? Was, 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 the, what, was the kind of contemporary angle partly why this story feels so important to be told now, do you think? Yeah, I mean, that's something I remember I discussed with Catherine before we, um, before we started the movie that I know that there was um, very much a reason why she wanted to tell this story. And um, I think we, you know, yeah, we, like you say, it's impossible not to draw those parallels. We were all very aware of the contemporary relevance of this story. And um, yeah, and it seems to be, you know, kind of with what's happened recently in Charlottesville, it's just um, feels more and more important to, um, to give voice to these kinds of issues. I mean, you're, you're one of several um, actors now that have, have come from that, from skins that have now made a real kind of uh, waves in Hollywood. I mean, obviously there's Deb Patel, Jack O'Connell, Nicholas Holt. Did you get a sense when you were on that TV series all those years ago that you were part of this kind of golden generation of actors? Did, did it feel like that this was a group that could really excel? And... Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's, it's a very special group of people um, and they're all really kind of, they're all really dear to my heart as well. I, you know, I love them a lot. And um, I remember um, we were doing like interviews, behind the scenes interviews once, and Daniel Kaluuya, who has also course, recently yeah. been making very big waves, <laughs> um, he said, he was like, I really hope that um, what happens with this show is you look back and you're like, oh my God, how did they get that cast? Like, because everyone's gone on to do such amazing stuff. And I feel like that's that's happened. Um, and yeah, I think um, it, it was a very special show. And I also think that the material that we were given at that young age gave everyone a chance to really cut their teeth and really, um, it was an incredible kind of springboard to do bigger things. And then obviously now with, with Game of Thrones and, and with this movie as well, uh, it's of, an, sort of a number of years of past between this and Skins. But if you could go back uh, to and to give yourself any advice back then, if you, from what you sort of know now, what would you what would you tell a younger you? Oh, good, just not to worry so much. Um, I was I was very very neurotic about um, about my performance when I was working on Skins. I was always kind of beating myself up and wishing I'd done things differently and. Um, I found that I found over the years that I think my work has gone, gotten a lot better when I've agonized over it less. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! 